Welcome back to Real Estate Now. This week, we're gonna talk about training at eXp Realty and how much it can have an impact on an agent's business. But before we get started with that, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and also notifications so that you're notified when we add new content. We're adding new content here every week and it's stuff that can really help you with your real estate business. So now, let's get started. Today, in Real Estate Now, we're going to talk about the EXP training calendar and how much live training there is every week. And then I thought it'd be fun to dive into a little screen share where I'm going to share with you um, kind of an overview version of a class I teach for EXP all across the country. Uh, I teach it online, of course, um, called Simple Strategies for Online Lead Conversion. But first, I thought I would just share with you a little bit about the power of the EXP training calendar and how much there really is there every week and every month to help real estate agents build their business. And so um, I got a question recently, who's it training for? Well, there's training for every agent in every space in their business, wherever they are in their business at that moment, there's stuff there. So for instance, there's our Fast Start series, which is a series built around getting new agents up and running and productive in the real estate business. So it's really geared just for the, real, for the brand new real estate agent. And then there's lots of things like online lead generation training, online lead conversion training that I do and others do as well. Uh, there's business planning training, there's working with buyers training, there's a great deal of listing presentation training, and on and on and on. 50 to 75 hours a week of live training in EXP World, our virtual cloud campus. So um, if you have questions about that, obviously I'd love to hear them, answer them for you and chat with you more about it. But now let's dive into a little overview, like I said I did, of a training class I teach in EXP World every month called Simple Strategies for Online Lead Conversion. Okay, let's just jump right in. We have a lot to cover today. Um, the name of the course is Simple Strategies for Online Lead Conversion. And um, yeah, let's just get going. There's so much here to cover. So, um, a quick about me, I don't want to take too much time here because this course really isn't about me. It's about online lead conversion, but just to give you a, a, a frame of reference for, for who I am. Uh, my name is Eric Lowry. I am the team leader of the Lowry team with eXp Realty. Um, I run this team which covers the Cincinnati, Dayton, Springfield, and Miami County markets. Um, so, a good, probably one third of Ohio at the at least at the time this is being recorded. Um, I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, been in real estate for 22, over 22 years now. Um, I've been with eXp Realty for one year and thus uh, my icon award status I've only had for one year as well. Um, just in terms of a little bit about what I like, I love to travel. Uh, I'm a huge NFL and college football fan and I have three grandkids, which is the best part of that whole slide right there. So that's enough about me. Um, the course overview. So here's what the entire course encompasses. And because we're just doing this short overview version, all of this isn't in this video that you're watching right now, but this will give you an idea of what is in it in the entire course. Um, there's a whole, a whole section, we're gonna cover a fair amount of that today in this course, on mindset. Um, we're gonna talk about asking better questions to make more money. That is kind of the second part of it. And then the third part is having a system. And so we're just going to cover um, some of the highlights of the stuff in this shortened video. Um, so let's dive right in. Mindset first. Mindset's so important. Um, mindset, mindset to me is everything. I'm, if you know me at all, you know I'm a huge personal development fan, obsessor. I spend a lot of time reading, uh, listening to you know some pretty high level podcasts and that type of thing, and and really trying to surround myself with some of the very best of the best in our industry um, because I know mindset matters so much. Um, but in, in the framework of lead conversion, um, you know the mindset I want to challenge you to to switch your mindset perhaps on this is to understand that you have to have a mindset in lead conversion of it's a long game. All of the gold is in the follow up. All of the gold is in the follow-up. Too many agents get a lead, uh, try to reach out once or twice, nothing comes of it, and they simply just you know push it aside and never come back to it and go on to the next. They're just churning and burning through leads. And here's what I'm going to tell you is that it, what I mean by that is all the gold's in the follow-up. So for us, our team on leads we generate, we generate a lot of leads every day, every week, every month for our team. Um, 
the average days until a lead that we put under contract, the average days until they go under contract on our team is 183 days, meaning day one is the day that they became a lead in our system. They popped up in our CRM and we began the follow-up process all the way to the moment when we sold them a house or sold their house either way. Um, the average of those days is 183 days, six months, if you will. That number has been that for a long, long time. There's almost no variation from year to year in that number. It's 183 days. So if you're not willing to um, play the long game, if you're not willing to have um, you know, the, you know, the, the mindset around continuing to follow up and continuing to follow up, you know, you're gonna miss out on a lot of opportunity. So let me just set the stage here for kind of how I think about things and how I'm going to challenge you to think about it. So um, setting the stage means to me is what happens if we don't call the leads? What if we don't call them? They come into our system and we have some call apprehension or whatever it might be. And, and you know, we don't call them. So what happens if we don't convert them? What, what if we just, you know, don't put all the effort in? What we, we try a couple times, maybe we send them an email and nothing happens. What if we don't convert them? Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. Another agent will. Another agent will. These people that are coming into our sites and becoming leads in our system are buying homes. They are buying homes. And if you don't convert them, somebody else will. So, um, if you're not after that in a way where you have that mindset, it just makes it more challenging for you. We've got to call them. We've got to follow up. We've got to continuously follow up. So um, when I say mindset's everything, 90% of success is mindset, period. Not just in online lead generation. 90% of success is mindset. And it's no different in lead conversion. It's mindset first. It's about having a mindset of desiring to improve your skills, knowing what to say, and practicing it. And what that really means is scripts. You need to have a mindset of, I know what to say, I have confidence in what to say, and I have the best possible scripts for it. And scripts require you to practice. Scripts require you to internalize it, memorize it, so that you sound natural when you talk to people and that you always remember to ask the most important questions. Skills give you confidence, or I'll say scripts give you confidence, and confidence is a learned skill. You absolutely can gain confidence. It's a skill, but you have to work at it, and scripts will give you that confidence. I love this quote. Um, I, I heard um, this came. This quote comes from Ed Milet, whom I'm a big fan of. And I heard him say this live at a. I was at a, a conference, and he was the keynote speaker. And I heard him say this, and it's it's just has stuck with me ever since that moment. And that is that persuasion is getting people to believe that you believe what you're saying. So we'll repeat that again. Persuasion is getting people to believe that you believe what you're saying. Thus, if you aren't confident, you won't persuade people. By persuade people, I mean persuade them to work with you, persuade them to listen to you, persuade them to take your advice, your guidance. If you aren't confident, you won't be able to do that. And again, going back to that previous uh, slide there where we talked about it, confidence is a learned skill. You need to work on it. Um, it we kind of touched on this earlier around mindset. Agents give up way too early. Agents give up way too early. I hear stories and agents tell me all the time about how they, they got a new lead and, and they called them and they didn't, the person didn't answer. Or they sent them an email, the person didn't answer. And, and they just give up. Well, that's, if you're, if you're going to take that approach, what I'm going to tell you is just move away from online lead generation. It's not going to work for you because if you're not going to be willing to continue to be diligent and work out, work, work to follow up and follow up and follow up and follow up more, you're basically just throwing away money and you're, you're just hoping for luck and luck is just a, it's just a terrible plan. Luck isn't a plan. And so um, don't be one of those agents that give up way too early. Ask better questions, make more money. Ask better questions, you'll make more money. So here's a couple, uh, here's one of our simple strategies. Don't ask throwaway questions. What do I mean by throwaway questions? So when you call people, 
I believe you have a very limited amount of time when they answer. I believe you have a very limited amount of time with them on the phone. They're not going to talk to you for an hour. And so you need to have some strategies around this and some strategies around what you're not going to do. Thus, this one, don't ask throwaway questions. What do I think throwaway questions are? Is this Bob? Is this Mary? If you've obtain this person in your CRM or what, however you manage your leads, you know their name already. Don't ask it. It's a throwaway question. Plus you're giving them the opportunity to say no, and then you're stuck. They might tell you no, even if it is. So don't ask the question. It's just a throwaway. You already know their name. How are you today? Don't ask that. You don't care. And they don't care that they don't think you care. It's just another throwaway question. It's going to take you off the, the path that you want to go down with this conversation. And heaven forbid, if they tell you, um, you get the wrong guy or gal on the phone and you say, how are you today? And they spend 20 minutes telling you about every ache and pain and problem they have. That's not going to get you anywhere at all in the conversion game. So don't ask that. How many bedrooms and baths? Now, it seems like a typical thing to ask someone, a buyer, obviously. Um, but oftentimes we already know that based on the how much information they gave us when they registered or something. Like, and I'm not saying it's unimportant to ask those questions, but, but if you have a limited amount of time on the phone with someone, and I think of it this way, um, there's um, mostly everyone would, would know this concept, I think, or this analogy. Um, there's this little timers. You flip them over and the sand falls down through there, through the, the, the hourglass, I guess they call it or whatever. Um, so the sand falling out of that, Picture that visually, you can see that sand dropping out, and that's about how long you have on the phone with someone. When the sand drops out and there's no more left, you have no more time on the phone. And if you take that approach to it, you won't spend so much of your sand, if you will, asking these throwaway questions. So just eliminate, eliminate them. Don't ask these. So what are some of the better questions? If you're going to ask better questions and make more money, simple strategy is we have to ask better questions to have a deeper conversation. So here's some questions that I think you should ask. Why is this move important to you? Super good question to dig deeper to find out their why. Why are they doing this? Way more important than how many baths, how many bedrooms, do you need a basement? Um, why is this area important to you? You're trying to get a real deep conversation going here. What will making this move do for you? Again, you're digging deeper into the whys. What's the emotion behind it? What are your must-haves? So instead of just throwing a bunch of things you're going to spew on them about, do you need this? Do you need this? Do you need this? Ask them the open-ended question. What are your must-haves? And then shut up and let them talk. We shouldn't be talking nearly as much as they should. There's an age-old little rule, if you will, that I heard a long time ago. Is you have two ears and one mouth, and you should use them in those proportions. So ask the open question, open-ended question, and then just be quiet. Let them talk. Here's one that we've really learned over the last couple of years to make sure we always ask leads. Are you currently renting, or do you have a home you will need to sell? This will help you uncover seller leads. Even if they're buyer leads, the way you saw them coming into your system, many, many of them will have a home to sell. Wouldn't you want to know that? So this is a really good one. Are you currently renting or do you have a home you'll need to sell? By the way, these are scripts. These are scripts. I encourage you to use them in the way they're written here. These are better ways to ask the question. Clearly, you could say, do you own your own home? And you think you're getting to the same thing. But that's just, that's just a, a yes or a no answer that's not going to take you anywhere. In fact, it stalls the conversation. Are you currently renting or do you have a home you will need to sell? Requires them to answer in more long form, if you will. So here's a simple strategy. Commit to using scripts. The only way to get good at this is through scripts and script practice. Now, you may be watching this saying, oh, I hate scripts. I don't want to sound like a robot. I don't want to sound like I'm programmed. Well, if you're doing that, if you're sounding that way, you're doing scripts wrong. Let me repeat that. If you are getting that result from using scripts that you think you sound like a robot or you think you sound too programmed, you are arguing for your limitations and you're doing scripts wrong. 
Scripts done correctly are simply the very best questions, the best ways to ask questions that give you a result you're looking for. And if you're doing them correctly, you should sound far more natural and far more confident in what you're talking about than when you're winging it. The opposite of scripts is winging it. So commit to using scripts and practice them till they come out naturally, what I call conversationally competent. So it just sounds like you talking. So this is a little overview of the course that I teach inside of the EXP world called Simple Strategies for Online Lead Conversion. If you'd like more in depth of this, because this is nowhere near the full content, the content of this course um, takes a, a full hour. It's, it is always, every time I teach it, right up against the clock. And that doesn't include the Q&A session. So um, there's a lot more to this, obviously. But hopefully this gives you a little overview, whets your appetite a little bit. There is um, soon to be a recorded version of the full course. And if you'd like to receive that, feel free to reach out to me um, either through email, by cell phone, call or text. Um, or through Facebook, Facebook Messenger, um, submit a Facebook friend request. I'm happy to provide that to you. Um, it is, um, you know, like I said, something we're putting together right now and it'll be available shortly. Um, any other questions you have, um, feel free to reach out as well. So there you go. Simple strategies, a little overview. Hopefully you liked it. Um, if you'd like to see the entire version, I'm working to make that available online as well. So always feel free to reach out to me if you'd like to know more about what it looks like to partner with us and how to get more training like that and much, much more, um, click the link above where it says Agent Freedom Plan. And um, there's a link on that page that it'll take you to where it'll show you a lot more about what it looks like to partner with us. But there's also a spot there where you can book a time right on my calendar where we can chat more about how we can help you grow the biggest possible real estate business that you desire to grow. So I look forward to talking to you soon. Talk to you next time.